Hey guys, my name is Chris and welcome to CrossChop. If it's your first time here, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you an unboxing video of the Wired Fight Pad Link Edition controller for Wii U. Now I think this can also be used for the original Wii, kind of as a classic controller, but I'd been kind of looking at this online for a little while. It was recently released in kind of a second wave of these special PDP Fight Pad controllers. I already have the Yoshi one here, which I really really like to play with for Smash Brothers, but I knew I had to get the Zelda one as a longtime fan of the Legend of Zelda series, and I'd seen it online for a little while. Finally came across one in GameStop and figured it's the last one here in this store. I'll go ahead and grab it because I knew I'd want it. So to take a, a quick look here first at the packaging, you can obviously see the Legend of Zelda logo there. It's got kind of that forest green color on there with some bronze sticks and buttons with a yellow home button and some blue plus and minus buttons there. On the side it just says the wired fight pad with a little logo of Link in an action pose. And on this other side it's uh, got the Mando de Lucha Alambrico. I don't know Spanish and I'm terrible at that so I just had to get my quick fix in. I apologize to everyone who does speak Spanish for that. On the bottom here, it's just some information with guarantees and some copyright information. On the top, it's just the Wii U logo. But it is an official Nintendo licensed product, as you can see up there on the top. On the very back, it's actually got the Legend of Zelda logo there. I don't know if that's going to focus. Uh, hopefully it will. But then it's also got a display of the Donkey Kong and Mario Edition controllers and some other information in different languages about the controller itself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. I'll just go ahead and take this top part off here. It's a little bit tough to get there. It looks like it actually has been glued. I'd forgotten that they did that with the Yoshi one as well. So I'm trying to open this without bending the packaging too much. Not proving to be super easy. Yeah, it's definitely glued in there, so that's kind of a shame. But we'll open this nevertheless. Most of it's underneath that top flap. So we'll pull this open and extract the controller here. And it's encased in some cardboard. So we'll go ahead and take that out. And it's got the cord there, and that just plugs into the bottom of your Wii remote. And there it is right there. So, Pretty cool, and it is a slightly brighter green than it looks like on the box. Kind of a tan color on the back, and down here on the bottom left-hand side on your screen, it's uh, got the Wired Fight Pad Link Edition sticker on there. The Triforce emblem on the front is actually shiny, and actually is pretty detailed. It's very crisp. It's not a sticker either, which is great. It actually is on there. Sticks feel good. Buttons are nice and responsive. It's got a lot of that GameCube feel. D-pad still feels good. I will say with respect to this line of controllers as well as the Hori ones, the Hori ones feel a little bit closer to the original GameCube controllers, I think. I do still like these. They're not quite as snug as the original Nintendo design, but they do work very well. And it's nice that they've got the additional left button that would have been the Z button on the original GameCube controller. So it's kind of nice. It's handy for, again, for Smash Brothers and some of the other games I've tried out with it. Definitely a must-have, I would say, for any Zelda collector. Keep your eye out for this if you're in any shops like GameStop, EB Games up in Canada, wherever else. Yeah, so that is the Link Edition Wired Fight Pad. Now I'm curious, have you been on the lookout for this controller or any of the other special edition Wii U controllers that have been released? If so, leave a comment below and tell me which ones you're looking for. Or if you've already gotten some, what's your story behind those? If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you again on CrossChop. Take care.